We are back again to share another clip from Datas R Us. Today I meet with a talented quarterback and discuss how to interpret data on a stem and leaf plot. Hey, bro, I need your help. I had an outstanding season and our team statistician kept track of the total yards I threw the ball this season, but he put it into some tree thing. Mm, let's check this out. Oh, this is a stem and leaf plot. The title says the data represents JT's yards passed per game. Well dub, bro. I figured that out on my own. Looking at the key, it shows the number 23, a line, and then a 5 equals 235. Taking a look at the first stem 22 and the first leaf 1, we can say that in one game you threw 221 yards. The second leaf is a 5, meaning in that game you threw 225 yards. I am pretty good. Have I mentioned that? How many games did I play in? To figure this out, count the amount of leaves listed in the data. Altogether, there are 17 leaves. How many times did I throw more than 240 yards in a game? To do this, we will look at data points that represent numbers higher than 240. I go to 240 on the stem and leaf graph, and then I count all the leaves after that. I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There were eight games where you threw more than 240 yards. So eight out of the 17 games I played, I threw more than 240 yards. Right on. The eight represents the amount of games you threw over 240 yards and 17 equals the total amount of games played. It can be written as the fraction eight seventeenths. Bro, one last question. How many total yards did I throw this season? Last year, I threw for 3,982 yards. I hope I beat it this year. Okay. We need to add all the data points together. If the numbers are repeated like the zeros in the leaf of the 24, make sure to add for each time it is represented. I'm so nervous. The suspense is driving me crazy. For a total of 4,079 yards. Who's the man? I'm the man. Getting better, feeling better, and always looking good. Congratulations, man. Good luck next year and hope to see you again soon at Datas R Us. Hey, go long.